Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. This is serious. 2023, Amechi Wike preparing to run for president. Hey, this is, I mean, guys, it's happening. So Amechi was the former governor of River State. Wike is the present governor of River State. Amechi has moved on to become a minister, minister of transportation. Wike is not happy with the guy's performance so far and has constantly called him out to say, what have you done for the people in the south, in the southeast especially? You are constructing rails to other nations of the world. What about your own home? Somebody cannot clean his house. His house is like a mess. Yes, and yet he's going out to make others' home beautiful. Is it not an irony? Anyway, guys, news reaching us, report now is that Amechi and Wike are preparing for presidency come 2023. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into the news and get all the details. By the way, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. A very warm big thank you to you. Let's continue. 2023, Amechi Wike preparing to run for presidency. As the countdown to 2023 continues, alliances are shifting and prenominations are shaping up. This day can authentically report that Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi is preparing to throw his heart into the rig as a candidate for the 2023 race, just as achieved rival acute rival and river state governor Newsom Wike is also putting machineries in motion to bid for the top post. <laughs> so two, uh, two brothers, because I mean they are from River State, they are both from River State, so it's fair to call them brothers. Why this day reports last week that the section of the North and loyalist to President Muhammad Buhari favors former President Goodluck Jonathan, there are strong indication that Amechi and Wike are equally eyeing the country's top job. The North's embrace of Jonathan is predication on his track record. He held swept he heard from 2010 to 2015 and led this country as a pre, as a president when he lost the re-election bid in 2015 to um President Muhammad Buhari and accepted defeat when he could not when he could have used the machineries of government to rig election and remain in power he avoided that Jonathan is gradually seen as a gentleman who has who has conducted himself in an amiable way in the up in the in the run up to the 2015 election which he eventually lost he has declared that his ambition was not worth the blood of Nigerians the becoming that becoming the, def the defining character of a man who resists all pressure, not accept the result of that election, and called his opponent, the candidate Muhammad Buhari, to congratulate him for his victory. The singular act elevated Jonathan to the extent that everyone called him a Democrat and a statesman and then declared him to, be in to the international community as a man of true reputation. The North is also said to have seen Jonathan as a unified one that will be able to bring this Nigeria together that is in the process of being fractionized, who worked with people of diverse background. Even his principal secretary was the Northern Fulani extraction, as source said. The North believes strongly that a, that a Jonathan presidency will testify and link to the country unification of the southeast and the entire south south will rest their quest especially the southeast to become president since it's also from the south the source informed with the with the thinking that the north declare their support and the their support regarding good luck Jonathan has stirred to the south, south, and southeast. He bears as a middle man. He will stand to be able to merge the gap. He is a good man and a gentle one without complications. Meanwhile, advocates of south, south presidency urge that the south still have four years to complete his second tenure, adding that former 
President Olusegun Obasanjo, who is the former Southwest, did eight years. Did eight years as president and did eight years as president. They note that Buhari, the incumbent president, would also complete his eight years, God, if God wills. Whereas Jonathan from the South South did not do a second tenor in office. To that extent, they believe the South South must complete its second tenor before power could shift to the South East. The ambition of Amechi and Wike are predicated on the South South being allowed to serve out its remaining four years. Thus, between the two, between between both men is a continuous war of admiration and continuous war of words going on, the wrestling between Wike and Amechi on each other. Other. The question is what both bring to the table? Do you have enough national appeal to make them viable candidates that win a presidential election? Why Amechi as minister can claim some national presence by virtue of his position? He lacks the credible base to learn to land on. His party could not field candidates could not feed him as candidate in any position, not even 2023. That seems very far-fetched. Wike can also claim some national influence, having served as the Minister of Education under Jonathan's presidency. As, as Governor of Rivers State, he has man maintained a firm grip on the river political controlling the highly influencer, influenced members of the PDP. He has highly expanded his base beyond the rivers. It is also to his credit that the People Democratic Party survived the first few years after it lost power. But is that enough to make him a viable candidate for the highest office in the land? Supporters of Wike are in the view that the governor will not sit by and watch Amechi launch a bid that might prompt him to a higher calling. Besides, Amechi is also steadily and waiting for the southeast and south south to get into that position and is doing all possible to get in as to become the number one leader of this country on his part wiki who is believed to have a firm grip on rivers and pdp politics and aware and the word of many attempts by wiki to seize control of the state is also positioning the positioning and preparing to launch his bid to the highest office in the land. The fear in his camp is that should Amechi launch a presidential bid for some reasons, success, he might use the full might of the federal government to move against Wiki and his supporters. Well, my people, this is what is going on. So they're getting ready for presidency. What do you think? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.